Greetings, welcome back. This is Brother Tabidi. We're going to be dealing with uh, the properties of parabolas. And in doing so, the first thing we're going to do is just uh, find the vertex. And then we're going to worry about graphing uh, next. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is find the vertex. This is the formula right here. V equals negative B divided by 2A. And so all we need to do is first of all label our A, B, and C like we did in quadratics. And so let's go ahead and label them. Okay, it looks like we have three terms here. We have a 5, we have a 10, and we have a 7. And so our first term would be A. So we can go ahead and put 5 for A. Our second term is going to be 10, so we can go ahead and put 10 for B. And our last term, which will be C, will be 7. Okay. Then the next thing we want to do is go ahead and plug in our answers. Uh, for the formula here. So our formula says vertex equals negative B. We know that B is 10, so we're just going to put negative 10. All we're doing is rewriting the formula here, okay? Negative 10 divided by 2A. That's 2 times A, which A is 5, right? So that means you have negative 10 over 10, and if you know uh, how to do your division, this is basically just a division problem. 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. Okay? So now we know what x is. So that gives us x. And that's, and that's part of your vertex. So now we know, and we can go ahead and put a chart here. Put an x here, and then we're going to put y. Okay, so we already know that when x is negative 1, y, we don't know what it is. So we're, in order to find out what y is, what we're going to do is we're going to erase this in a second and then we're going to go ahead and rewrite the original problem here and, or the original challenge and wherever we see a x we're going to put a negative 1 okay and then we're going to find out what y is so let's go ahead and let's erase this so we make ourselves some room okay so let's go ahead and erase this we don't need this anymore we already got our answer there, so um, let's keep it, keep it moving. So what we're going to do is rewrite our original problem, like I said. Okay, so let's re rewrite our original problem. We have y equals 5, and we'll put parentheses wherever I see an x, squared plus 10, in parentheses, plus 7. So let me go ahead and plug in those answers. We said that x is negative 1. So we put negative 1 here and we put negative 1 there. Now remember your order of operations. The first thing you must do is exponents first. So what is negative 1 times negative 1? Hmm? Okay, yes it is 1. So we have 1 and we multiply that by the 5 that we have here. And so when we do that correctly we should get 5. So then we have a positive 5 and now you have this 10 times a negative 1. And if you know your multiplication rules, when you have a positive times a negative, it's always a negative. So that's going to be negative 10, right? And then the last thing you have is a plus 7. And now you're just doing your adding and subtraction rules here. Okay, um, we have a positive 5 and a negative 10. That means these two signs are different. So when they're different, we must, yes, subtract. And we should get a negative 5 plus 7. Once again, now we have two signs that are different. So the signs are different, we must once again subtract. And if you subtract, you should get a positive 2 because the larger number is 7. So now we have two of the numbers we're looking for. This right here is called our vertex, negative 1 and 2. Okay? Uh, we want to find out one more value before we can graph. So let's go ahead and make our line a little longer here. We're going to put one more value here. Okay, so what we've done is we rewrote the problem here, just like we did before when we plugged in the negative 1. But now we're going to go ahead and plug in 0. Okay? We'll just plug in 0 because we want to find out another point on our graph so we can go ahead and graph it out. So let's go ahead and, um, and find out what this is. Okay, so same thing, order operations. We do the exponents first, so 0 uh, squared would be 0 times the 5 would also be 0, so that's a 0, okay. Then over here, 10 times 0 is once again 0. And what do we have left? We have y equals, and then we have a 7. 
So that means that whenever x is 0, y is going to be 7. So now we have two points that we can find how the parabola is going to look. Okay, and so in the, stay tuned in the next section we're going to go ahead and graph this. So on this we have uh, x, uh, whenever x is negative 1, y is 2. Whenever x is 0, y is 7. Okay, so stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and graph, let's go ahead and graph this. We're finishing up our graphing of our parabola that we figured out earlier. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, um, and find our vertex is negative 1 and 2. So that means we're going to go back 1 and up 2 and then we're going to go ahead and make our mark and so if we go back 1 and up 2 that should put our vertex about right here okay so and then our next thing we did was we put 0 in our our uh, challenge and uh, we got 7 and so that means 0 means uh, we're going to stay right there remember, remember the first number is either left or right this is 0 so that means we're not going anywhere the next number says 7 that means we're going to go up to 7. So it looks like this. Okay, now in our parabola, this right here is the vertex. So since this is the vertex, that means whatever it took me to, uh, to get from 7 to 2, we must do the same thing over here. So for instance, if I was to get to this mark here, which is negative 2, which is one, uh, 1 over and 2 up, I'll do the same thing over here, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, make these so they, they actually look, look uh, consistent. So if you look, we're going to go 1 over and 7 up. We're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to go 1 over, okay, and then we're going to go 7 up. And that should put me about right there. And if you can see, we go 1 over, 7 up. 1 over, 7 up, and then we go ahead and draw our parabola, and if we draw a parabola, it should look something like this. And that's our parabola. Good job. All right, class, this is from a sixth through eighth class that's taking algebra. I need you to do these four challenges. These aren't problems. These are challenges. So I need you to do each four of these, and you need to graph them. So you need to find the vertex and graph them. If you have any concerns, go back to my video, rewind it, look at it, because I went through each step on how to do it. Um, just go back to YouTube and uh, review it. All right? Well, you guys have a good day. Sorry I wasn't with you today, but like I said, I had to um, take the day off because I had to get some rest. So I think you guys can understand that I'm a hard-working teacher. Okay, so go ahead and do your homework, and I expect to see this when I come back. All right? Have a good one. Bye-bye. Greetings, class. This is uh, the homework assignment for 6th to 8th. I need you to do this in class and finish it up for homework. I need you to do these four challenges and I need you to not only find the vertex but I need you to get some graph paper and graph each one separately on, on one graph paper each problem. Don't give me one graph paper with a bunch of uh, things on it where I gotta find the line. So just use, don't be cheap, get a graph paper for each challenge here. All right. Y'all have a good day, and I'll see you when I return. One love.